So let's get started drawing with this program. And the first thing you need to do when you're drawing is make sure you can locate your toolbar that has all the tools. That's called the Tools Toolbar. And if you can't find it on your screen for some reason, go over to Windows and then Toolbars and then just make sure that that is checked. So let's, it's unchecked now. I'll go to Toolbars and then click on Tools and there it is. For most people, the drawing tools you're going to be using more most often are the brush and the pencil and the eraser. To a lesser extent, the paint bucket and you can find more tools under the paint bucket. There's also the geometric tools, line, rectangle, and ellipse. And those are the primary drawing tools. Let's go to the brush, which is the most common. Uh, the brush, the distinction of the brush is that you can get thick and thin lines as opposed to the pencil. That's the difference, is that the pencil, all the lines are the same width no matter how hard you press there's no difference in the uh, line variation so again with the brush you've got line variation depending on the pressure provided of course that you're using a pressure sensitive tablet the paint tool works by filling in spaces that are enclosed just by tapping on them and the eraser tool works as you would expect just cuts right through anything that you've drawn and with all of these you have a lot of choices on the tool properties section where you can choose all the different options like the width of the eraser or the width of the brush or the width of the pencil and we'll go into detail on all of these things as we look at each tool individually also there is a color bin here these are all along the palettes that are here and there is a color palette which gives you the option of choosing to make your colors independent meaning that your brush could be one color and your pencil could be a second color and your paint bucket could be a third color or you can link them all so that they're identical and there's a lot of options in here as well in the tool properties tab this panel contains options for every different brush or tool that you select. Now the first thing here is that it displays which tool you're working with. You can tell that the pencil is selected because up here in the tool bin the pencil is the one that has a rounded square around it. So if I tap on the brush here the brush options open up. To get started drawing you just simply have to pick a scene to draw in and then pick a layer to draw on. So if you have your thumbnails down below your drawing area, you just simply tap on one of them and then look at your layers and decide which layer you want to draw on. Choose your brush and start drawing. You can change tools anytime while you're drawing. Like I can go from using the brush to using the pencil and then I can continue drawing. You can change the color as you're drawing. For example, I'll make the pencil blue and I can continue drawing. You can also hit the undo button if you want to undo your strokes. And let me go to the brush again. All right, I'm going to choose a brush and then if I change the color of the brush, I can make another stroke, but I can also draw on a layer underneath, which as you can see, places the new blue stroke underneath the red stroke. You may want your strokes to seal off at the end so that you can easily use a paint bucket to fill in. Now if that's the case, an easy way to make your strokes connect from the beginning to the end is if you start drawing them and just before you finish press the control key or the command key on a Mac and that will automatically seal off your shape. That way you can fill it in easily with the paint bucket tool. And then your shape, instead of doing this, will do this. The key there is to make sure that you wait until you've started drawing the stroke 
and then press the control key before you've finished the stroke. If you press the control key at the beginning of the stroke, it will not start drawing.